So uh, Spain uh, and Italy, an all-European affair in the next bout of the men's light fly category. And uh, Jose Del Nieve ranked fifth in this Iba World Championship competition. 25-year-old, born in the D Dominican Republic, but now boxing for Spain out of Andalusia. And Alex Ferramosca, 28-year-old. Italian boxer, Italian national champion back in uh, 2009. But uh, this is the man that's favourite to take this bout, no question of a doubt. Third in the recent uh, European Championships, five times Spanish national champion, experienced boxer at 25 years of age, sixth in the 2009 World Championships in Milan and uh, also gained a little bit of Olympic experience in Beijing. Lost in the prelims to Yanez of the USA. As for uh, Ferra Mosca, well, at 28 years of age, three years older than the Spanish boxer, but nowhere near as much experience or accomplishments against his name. Razbeyev from Kazakhstan is the referee for this third bout in the light fly. Jose Dreniev. No, he's already taken out a seeded boxer. The Spaniard in red took out the boxer ranked eight, Patrick Barnes, in the preliminary rounds. So he's come to this round of 16 the hard way, the Spanish boxer. Let's see if he can maintain that form. Taking their time. As we said at the beginning of our broadcast earlier today here in Baku, Baku, Azerbaijan. The winners of these bouts have qualified for Olymp the Olympics in 2012 London. So a lot of extra pressure in this round of 16, a lot of expectation from the boxers coaches, national teams, friends and family. Oh yes, two good left hooks from uh, Nieve. Starting to size up the Italian now, past the halfway point of the opening round, three three-minute rounds, remember, in uh, amateur world championship boxing. Good jab score from uh, Fara Mosca. It's going to be a bit tricky. But now it looks like the Spaniard is getting the measure. Well, the Italian Southport now trying his best to try and pick up some score towards the end. Counting down from 10. Right on the bell, good score. Good hook from 
Jose Nieve of Spain. But the Italians seem to be a little bit more accurate. I have both boxes tied, but first round has gone to the Italian at 5 3. Here's the combination. Not this one. That's the one where the good one two combination worked. The jabbing more effective for the Spaniard, but this is good news for the Italian. Two points clear at the end of the first round. So far, so good, and on course, or track, to take out the boxer ranked five. There's the confirmation. Very tight. Only one of the five judges scoring the Spaniard higher than the Italian. I have to admit, so had I. Now, let's see if he can raise his game a little more here. He can see the sense of urgency from the Spaniard. He knows he's got to pick it up a bit, maybe be a little bit more forceful, aggressive, and that's clearly seen. The Spaniard has come out for this second round, wanting to make up that two-point deficit. Again, another good right hook. And again, that's an accurate shot for the Spaniard. Got to keep this momentum going now, though. Just a little too much posturing, a little too much sizing up in round one, and those accurate jabs from the Italian. Gave the blue corner the first round, and there's another good one-two from Nieve, and gets the hook in as well. Didn't quite get the angle from the camera to see whether that hit the target or was blocked. Italian just for holding a little. Oh, and there's three, four good punches. And again, that right hook starting to work very effectively for the Spaniard. And again, one, two. You saw it clearly there. An account from the referee. Yeah. Oh, well, it's... Uh, let the Italian know. That he needs to pick it up now. Because the referee, close to stopping the contest... Much better performance from the red corner here now in round two. 40 seconds to go. Trailing by two points, surely he's made that up. And there's a lovely uppercut from uh, Nieve. Born in the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Oh, but a good counter there from the Italian. And that shook the Spaniard. Just seems to be running out of momentum here now. The red corner, the red boxer. Counting down from 15. And I have the... Spaniard taking that round comfortably. And on the computer screens here in the commentary position, it's 9-6, to six, which takes Nieve one point ahead of the Italian. Oh, this is going to be a good third round.
Third and final round of the men's. Uh, light fly here. The fifth ranked boxer is in the red. The unranked boxer from Italy, Ferramosca, is in the blue. Just one point. And that advantage is to the Spanish boxer, Jose de la Nieve. Alex Ferramosca started off well. Took a count in the second round. And Nieve just needs to keep the momentum and the accuracy that he demonstrated in that second round going in the third to progress to the quarterfinals. Good, good jab. Good score from the hook. Mixing it up nicely. There is no question the Italian has fought bravely here. And it still could go either boxer's way. We've passed the halfway point at the three minutes. Spaniard, if anything, just starting to look a little tired. Oh, that's a good combination. Good scoring from uh, Nieve. Into the final minute in the final round. Right on the chin with the right hook there from the red boxer. Keeping those feet working, showing that he's got the stamina to keep the work rate going right through. Final three minutes. I think it's fair to say both of them could do with a good flurry to finish this third round off. Quarter of a second left to go. And uh, bravo is a cheer from the Italian corner for Ferramosca, who's finding some good accurate shots towards the end of the round, just when he needed them. And that combination could turn it back the Italians' way. Oh, a good one-two again from Nieve. Very close. Well, with only one point separating these two boxers coming into this third and final round, and uh, both the Italian in the blue and the Spaniard in the red really digging deep in that third and final round. This will be very close. The red corner, the favoured boxer, ranked boxer coming into this round of 16 bout. Oh, he's just got it. And look at that by the narrowest of margins. 18 to 17. One point separating Spain and Italy. But it is the Spaniard, Jose de la Nieve, who goes through to the quarterfinals. And with that performance, also books himself a qualification to the 2012 London Olympics. Very close contest indeed. Really hard for the Italian. But the experience of the Spanish boxer coming good.